Searchtrading.co.uk is back and it is better than ever. Firstly, thank you if you are a new or returning subscriber to the site. It means the world to us and we will not let you guys down. If you want to know what it is, it is our trading website where we help you guys make millions of coins a month. We've already got people that have made over a million in the first few days of using the site. What do you get for your money? For £10 a month, you get buy-in prices and selling prices for shadows, anchors and hunters on both Xbox and PS4. You also get an investment area which has already made people a huge amount of coins and Thursday flips every week to make sure you guys are getting the best value for money and make as many coins as you possibly can. You can't do that with FIFA points, I promise you now. You will make far more of this than you ever make with FIFA points. £15 a month also gets you access to live filters. These are the best filters on the game at any one time. They're updated daily, I think a couple of times a day at the moment to make sure that the prices are accurate and you guys are able to buy and sell without any stress. We get the prices for you. To give an example, this right here is all the hunter prices we currently have for the game. Nearly a thousand cards on that. And simplistically, you will search for a player. It will tell you the price to buy them for with a hunter, the price to sell them for with the hunter, usually selling them overnight, making huge profit from all those cards throughout the day. Um, that price there, don't rely upon it as gospel. It gets changed all the time because the price goes up and down. We update three to four times a day. Make sure you click the link down below to check it out. Make sure you join the Discord. completely free to join. It will help you with using the site and just getting training tips in general. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, please do consider subscribing down below. Clicking the like button, all that good stuff. It's massively appreciated. Thanks so much for the support on the video so far, and the streams have been utterly mental. I do live stream over on Twitch, so make sure you click the link down below. Come over to Twitch and get involved there. Uh, we've got an amazing community being built all the time. It's growing every single day. And we have a free Discord server that anyone can join. It's completely free. You're more than welcome in. It's a great community. So make sure you hit it up. But um, this, this video basically is the first video of the series I'm going to run all year, which is the Road to Glory. I'm going to do a proper Road to Glory for you guys to see exactly how I do things, what I do, how I do it. And it's going to include gameplay. Obviously, last year I was a relatively consistent Elite 3 player. Um, this year I'm hoping to go maybe Elite 2 if I can. So far, I'm loving the game. Not going to lie. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but there's also going to be new content on the channel. So as always, there's going to be trading videos. You'll see that's part of the Road to Glory, but also specific standalone trading videos for you guys to make lots of coins on the game. But also, we've recently launched our own Sunday League team. Um, so we're going to be showing you that. We can talk about that in the next video. Not gone so well, but there's also been a major change in regards to my health and whether I can play. So I'll give you more details about that in the first video um, as we go. But yeah, this is the Road to Glory. Basically, I'm going to be doing what I can to show you guys what I'm doing on the game, how I'm doing it, whether that's trading and making loads of coins, whether that's playing gameplay and doing what I need to do there, um, and just grinding out objectives because so far I've really enjoyed this game. But it's time to get into the video, so I will be right back. All right, guys, so this is my club. As you can see, 156,000 coins in the bank, record of 5 0. So we'll talk about that first. I did my placement games for Division, division Rivals, 1 or 5, been placed in Division 2, got all the coins that came with that. Um, but I do want to talk about this game so far. It has been a joy to play, and I, you guys know I will criticise EA when I feel like I need to criticise EA, but so far, so good. The gameplay feels very good to me, I'm really enjoying playing it, the menus seem really good, I don't really like the layout too much, but I think that's more because it's new, I'll get, I'll get the hang of it eventually, I, I will, um, but it just feels better this year, I don't know what it is, it feels like there's more to do on the game, so if you look at objectives for example, if you go through all this, there's so much more stuff to do here this year. Community objectives, um, where's that there? Yeah, start contributing, all that sort of stuff, opens in 10 hours. We're not really sure what that's going to entail completely, but massive fan of that. Season progress, all the sort of stuff we got last year. Um, I think it's a loan from Mbappe, isn't it? Yeah, and a loan for Sterling. We got a small prime goal players pack there. Like, there's just loads to do there. Objectives themselves, the early ones, quite good to, to, for anyone that's on the game. Milestones, like, it just feels like there's more to do there, which is great, and I hope it continues. But then you've also got all these other stuff like the co-op mode. It just feels like a better game. I don't know what it is. It just feels 10 times better than, than 20. And I'm hoping that's because they've taken on board feedback. I really don't want them to patch the game. There are issues in some way with the gameplay. Like, it's never going to be perfect. But I've enjoyed playing it. It feels crisper. It feels better. It feels more manual than it did last year. Last year's game felt a lot more um, sort of AI-based and whatnot. This year, it feels like you need to place your defenders in the right place. It feels like you need to do a lot more, um, I guess, manual. It's hard to explain what I mean because some of the stuff you're still using, like Javax and whatnot, but it just feels like it's more down to the skill set of the user. And that's why last year, because they, they hit that it's coming, I tried not to rely upon the AI. So I'm hoping that stands me in a good step for this year. It did for my placement games. Um, if we have a little look at that, actually, we'll go to Division Rivals. 
So we are in Div 2 for Division Rivals, which is very, very nice. Very happy with that. I need to get the qualification done. I don't think I don't know when Weekend League starts. I, I, for what I heard, it was meant to be... What well, everyone said to me, it was going to be this coming weekend. So once again, we dropped and whatnot. But now it looks like it's not going to be to the weekend after that because it's saying the upcoming Weekend League. So I do need to get some wins in, get my Div uh, Division Rivals progress done. So that's really cool. But we'll start by showing you the team in terms of what we've got at the moment. This is what we put together. We did pack Thiago Silva and Havertz when, we, when the game first came out. But this is currently where the team's at. So we'll run through the players. I'll give you a sort of rundown of what I think of them. Um, and we'll go from there. So Galaxy, I'm not going to lie to you. The reason I bought Galaxy was because he links into Klosterman. Now, Klosterman is nine impossible to find on the market because it's an utterly filthy card. They're sent back of 84 pace, 82 defending, 77 physical. Um, but I packed him as part of a two-player pack I got at the beginning, untradeable. So for me, I was buzzing. Everyone's been very jealous of it. So I'm very, very happy with that. Um, he's utterly insane. This Uduakai, is that how you pronounce it? Udu Uduakai. Um, he was first on the tradable. I'm using him for now. He does a job. He ain't going to stay in the team for very long, but he, he does a job for now. It's fine. Shules managed to snipe up for 10,000 coins live on stream yesterday. Um, very, very good. Exactly what you need from a, from a left back for now for early game. And Hector Bellerin, I believe we packed him as part of doing one of the advanced SBCs. I think we did the hybrid nations and we packed Bellerin, which was very nice. Uh, so we used him. Poor 2 managed to snipe him on stream yesterday for 10,000 coins. This card is sensational. For early game, I've loved using him. I've really loved using him. Carrasco, we bought for 8,400. Again, early game, perfectly fine. For me, I think he's played, yeah, played five, scored two, two assists. And now we'll talk about the midfield. These two cards are sensational. Lane was not even on full chem. This card is brilliant. This card is utterly brilliant. I paid 9,000 coins for him. There is no way, in my opinion, this card stays anywhere near 9,000 coins when the game fully drops. Obviously, the market tends to go up when the game comes out. But this guy, Lorente is honestly worth every penny I spent. I spent 27,000 coins on this guy because I'd heard about him. So far, he's got two goals, seven assists from five games. He is sensational. Like, utterly sensational. I need to work out the chem style that I'm going to put on him. I'm not really sure at the moment. I've just been playing about with him to see what he's like. Will he stay in my team for the whole game? Of course not. But for early games, to have a central midfield pairing, that have 85 and 84 pace, but both of them actually have half-decent stats elsewhere. Good defensive stats, good passing stats, good shooting stats, good physicals. It's honestly, it's game-changing having those two in midfield. It makes a huge difference. I'm a massive fan of both of them. Up top, Iago Aspas. Brilliant card. I'm, I'm, huge, I'm a huge fan of this. Five games, nine goals, three assists. He's sensational. Um, and what I like about Aspas this year, he's got a decent bit of pace. Decent, like, good, well, good dribbling, not even decent dribbling. His finishing sensational. Finishing this year is so important. Like, it is so important. If you get into a position that you've got a decent finisher, he'll ping it and put it away. And because people are still getting used to how to place their centre-backs and how to place their defence, someone like him is vitally important. Pace is very important this year, but I just feel like you can drag people out of position a lot easier than you could last year. Um, and so for me, Aspas is good. And then Morales. This card last year was a beast. We all knew he was amazing. This year, he is just as good as he was. I think, I think yeah, paid 4,000 coins for a guy who's paid five games for me, got eight goals and eight assists. So 16 goal contributions in five games, which is ridiculous when you think about it. For 4,000 coins, he still is the man, in my opinion. Look at his stats. Obviously, good pace. His finishing looks iffy. It isn't. I put a hunt on him anyway just to get his pace and finishing up either way. It's, it's just a, he's just a great card. It's really if, you, if you're looking for a starter squad striker, Morales is your man. But that's basically the team we're going to run with for now. Now, obviously, I've got 150,000 coins. The thought process now is what do I do in terms of moving forwards I'm probably going to be trading. That team, to me, is good enough to be competitive, probably in Division 2. Um, I don't really mind even going down the division. I'm not too stressed about that if I'm, if I'm not able to stay competitive. Because what I really want to do now, um, and you'll see some of that in the next video, is to start trading and building my coin total up. Um, the way it's going to work, I'm going to do a lot of trading in sort of my Road to Glory videos, but I'm also going to be bringing out specific sort of guides for you guys as to how you can make coins on the game. So I think it's sort of morning Road to Glory videos or the Sunday League videos. And then our evening will be sort of trading videos as much as possible. I'm going to try for two games, uh, two videos a day. That's the ideal situation to be in. Um, but yeah, I do want to know with Foot Champions. I haven't actually looked it up yet, but I do want to know what's going on with Foot Champions this year. Because I heard it was going to be this coming weekend. But now I've been told it's the weekend after that, which would be interesting. Um, it will be interesting to see that without a doubt. But so that's what we've gone and done so far in terms of that's a team set up. Division Rivals done. Need to get points now for Foot Champions. You guys will see some of that gameplay in the next video. Um, other things we've done. Squad building challenges. So, so far, we haven't really done all the, the basic ones. I probably will get around to doing them. We did the advanced in terms of the fact that we did the hybrid uh, nations. 
I'm not going to lie to you, we didn't do that well from it. We, we got a couple of, we got Regilon, we got Bellerin, which I'm using. We got a few decent, expensive players, but we didn't really get any, like, heavily, in fact, we didn't get, didn't get any walkouts at all. I've not really had a walkout this year, I don't think. Um, and so, yeah, it was a bit meh. We made profit. It's hard, it's impossible to make a loss on that. We did make profit. But um, I would say the pack weight does feel a little bit lower this year. I'm seeing, like, all these big content creators pack um, icons, that sort of stuff. I've got nowhere near that, I'm not going to lie to you. But again, hopefully with foot champions and rewards coming, it'll be good. Uh, but plan moving forward for this week, absolutely hammer out division rivals because we need to hammer out division rivals as much as possible. Um, we're going to be absolutely smashing out as much squad battles as possible because that will allow me then to get some rewards as well. Right now, like I said to you in the sort of how to do well on FIFA 21 video, rewards are key right now. And I'll give you any advice I can give you right now. Take tradable rewards early doors. Rewards early doors, rhymes. Take tradable rewards early doors. You want to get as much sort of coin into your club as possible. Even if you want to take coins, I don't like doing that. I find it boring. But even if you want to take coins, fine. But take tradable rewards as much as you can. To me, it's much better to do that and then try and pack something half decent because everything has value at the moment. Most of the decent cards have value. You pick up a Bellerin and whatnot. He's got a 10k price range. That's going to go up um, some point soon. You're getting 15k from him, Regilon and whatnot. For me, it's just even when you don't get that great a player, you still do better. But I need to do these two. I'll probably do these two live on stream, most likely. Um, so you'll see that in the next video about a doubt. But yeah, this video basically is just to run through when the Cubs at, basically. It's it's a really, really good start. Uh, but it is just a start. But I want to say GG's to EA so far. Like, it's famous last words. There's a huge amount of huge chance that it all goes wrong. Um, but if this is what's to come for the year, I'm all over it. I think it's absolutely brilliant so far. I'm enjoying playing FIFA. 20, I didn't enjoy it. From day dot, I didn't really enjoy it. This year, I am enjoying it. The format for these videos would essentially be me going through at the beginning of the video, sort of intros as to where we're at, basically. And then you'll see bits and bobs of what we're doing. So I'll probably record them with an intro and then say what I plan on doing in the video. And then you'll probably see stuff, sort of stream highlights. You'll see uh, game gameplay highlights. I'll try and help you guys in terms of how to do well at the game. Last year, a few of you liked those sort of custom tactic stuff that I did. Right now, I'm just focusing on getting good at the actual gameplay mechanics itself. Then the custom tactics will come back into it. Uh, but I would say if you want any advice initially, work on your defending. Work on placing your defenders. Work on the jockey with the defenders. That, to me, is where you're going to find the most joy and stop yourself conceding goals. Um, but yeah, that is where the club is at. 156,000 coins. 5-0 is our record at the moment. Going to be having our division rivals all day today. Live on stream later on, probably doing another one of those advanced SBCs and a load of trading. Uh, but that is going to be the end of this first Road to Glory episode. Just an update for where the club is at. Look out for the Sunday League videos. They will be coming very, very soon. I promise you they'll be mad enjoyable. I've got a great set of lads that now play for me. Um, so make sure you check those out. And obviously trading videos every single evening. Make sure you subscribe to, to the channel. Make sure you turn notifications on. But for now, lads, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.